I'm here this evening to recognize and honor Carrie Hornsby, but I want to say something else first. Over the years that I have been teaching at the law school, which are many, um, I have had two people who were my students in constitutional law, who then went off to do something else, and who then came back to the law school to be um, leaders in international education. And I noticed that Meredith was um, modest enough not to point out that she was a 2006 recipient. I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> And so it was that I had experience working with these kinds of people. <laughs> I had actually recruited Meredith to come back to the law school and to work with our international programs and then as assistant dean and associate dean. And then somehow she got stolen away. I think I had part of a role in that. Too. Uh, but somehow she got stolen away to her present position. Kari was also in my uh, constitutional law class in the first year of law school and he went someplace else and did some other things and then came back to the law school when we were looking for uh, somebody to take over the international programs. And in that time our inbound students were maybe 15 every year. Today it's 75. Uh, how do we do that? <laughs> by recruiting, by management of the program, uh, and it's all the work of Kari. It's, he's the most, I, I'm technically his supervisor. Actually, he's my supervisor, <laughs> uh, but I'm technically his supervisor, and he comes up with all the ideas. He does everything that needs to be done, whether it's recruiting, whether it's managing the recruitment process, whether it is offering new opportunities for our inbound foreign students, uh, or whether it is offering outbound opportunities for our students who are going abroad. Uh, so he is a person of marvelous breadth and great understanding. And I want to say also that he's just got lots of other positive qualities as well. I didn't realize it until one of them until we were in China together uh, a couple of years ago. And of course he speaks some Chinese. Why does he speak some Chinese? Because he worked there as a graduate student in biology, of all things, uh, what, a few years before he came to us. He's just got a marvelous breadth of experience. He's very international. And I want to congratulate him on receiving this award. <laughs>